Welcome back, my friends. I'm Teapot Tom, and this is episode 40 of our Drazzle playthrough. Big 40. Wow. Come a long ways. All right. Before we begin, though, I want to quickly remind you to please like and subscribe if you have been enjoying my content. It would mean a lot to my cat, Izzy, and I. And by doing that, it will make the algorithm happy. Algorithm gods, those mysterious entities that they are. And help get the channel out to new people uh, to help grow our little community. Also, you can follow me on Twitter or X or whatever it's called nowadays, as well as join our Discord community to stay connected with updates and uh, the like. So, links to those to those are in the description below. All right, let's get started. Let's do this. So, we finished off Emmerich's forces that were here. He had a beat-up uh, Haggard army as well as another Haggard army. He took them out, secured Ruin's End. Now, his only settlement left is Bitter Bay. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, one last settlement left. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty. He's got some beastmen over there. Are they sieging him? No, they're just raiding him. God, look at this army. This is kind of intimidating. That's a, that's a big old Mino bus, as we call it here in the business. The Mino bus. Okay, this army here definitely is not in shape to be able to take them on. Uh, so I think Drazwith's going to have to make his way over there and finish off both these guys, actually. Should we hit Imric first or the Beastmen first? I don't know. I guess that's... Kind of up for debate. Um, let's just march over there. Although if I do that, there's a chance the Beastmen are going to actually declare war on us. Uh, which they're not at war with us yet. But there's a chance they will if they see us over there in March Dance. Although we're, this is a, this is our best army. It's quite a powerful army. I don't think they'll do you have the gall to do that, but it is certainly possible. Um, hmm. Well, they'd proc an ambush attack on us regardless. Well, probably. Not guarantee, but probably. Um, could underway. Can we just regular move? How far can we go? Let's just regular move. Yeah, let's just regular move here. Oh, oh Ventress. What are you doing here? He's probably thinking the same thing we are. Oh, God. Can we actually beat him here? Beat him there? Probably. Probably. Oh, there's a special landmark here. What do we got? What is this? I didn't even realize that. Movement range. All armies. Oh, jeez. Raw materials, 50 per turn when workload requirements are met. Okay, I think we could do that pretty easily. And attrition, minus 50%. Casualty suffered from high seas attrition. Faction-wide. Okay. High seas. That's not bad. That's actually one of the more detrimental ones out there in the water. So this is actually a really good building. I like that. I like that. As well as the one over here. Let's remind ourselves what this one does again. Upkeep reduction for Lamasu, Great Taurus, and Bale Taurus. Physical resistance for the Taurus. And plus two breath attacks. That's actually not... That's not shabby. It's not shabby. It's not amazing, but it's not shabby. The Taurus is a pretty good unit, similar to the Manticore I've found. Um, speaking of which, we could recruit one over here. No, not not there. What was I? I was looking around earlier. Is it here? Ah, yes, here. Yes, here we go. Great, Taurus. We have one to recruit. We probably should. We have the money, barely, but we do. And let's get some more of you. Uh, because, if we look, there's an army here. I don't think they can reach this next turn. Let's see. Raid stance takes up 50%. Oh, wait. Uh, no, they probably can reach us. They probably can reach us. Okay. Well, desperate times requires desperate measures. So let's let's actually recruit one of these suckers. Maybe this guy? Oh, God, he's very expensive. 800 a turn. Over over 800. Oh, my God. Maybe we'll just settle for this one. This one's, this one's half the price. Yeah, let's just settle for this. Cool. All right, and let's take a look at the garrison here. We'll get all the notifications now. All right, uh, 10 garrison. Not amazing. We have 10 units here. Uh, well, soon to be 10 units, not quite. So, And then two uses of our bombardment. Thankfully, I didn't build the bombardment building. Although this area probably justifies or warrants having it built up to tier the tier 4. Uh, but that's expensive. Can't do that quite yet. Okay, well... We'll do what we can over here. If we make some more coin this turn, we could recruit one of those other units, the renowned units, but they are so expensive. If we look over here, Luke Taz, our scout, has got eyes on Miao Ying. Looks like she just fought an army. I think, yeah, I think she, uh, if I remember correctly from last episode, she was next to one of Lokir Felhart's armies over here, next to the Village of the Moon. So that's probably why she's damaged. And she's got two other armies here, so three, three, or two and a half stacks or so. Jeez, okay, well. Um, hmm, where to put the pressure on Cathay? Where to put the pressure? I think maybe Bridge of Heaven. 
Or move up here and help out with this situation. Actually, we should probably do that. Even just one of these armies up there could do the trick. Uh, we can send, we can send Byraz. We'll send Byraz. Um, I need to be careful though. Is there military presence here? Yes, I think that's probably this army. Wait a minute. No, this army is actually within our own territory. So the fact that, let's see, Shrine of the Ancients, Shang Yang, Shrine of the Alchemist up here, and Tai Tzu. Tai Tzu, there's a military presence here. Um, uh, hmm. It could be up here, though. The army that is affecting the military presence could actually be up here. I'm not sure. We just need to get a scout. Oh, Lutas here. Come over here. Is there an army here? Okay. Yep. Okay. I had a feeling. All right. Well, knowing that, let's get you over here. <sighs> yeah, we should try to avoid that army. We can take it, I think. Oh, this army is not very good. Maybe we should grab this. The Ice Force Legion is also very expensive, but it's, it's, it is very good. It's just too much right now. It's too expensive. We can't justify it. Doogie Tash. Doogie Doogie. All right. What's this guy's name again? Lazar. That's right. Lazar. Lazar. There you go. Lazar will prove himself uh, handy in the battles to come. All right, so with you, Thinker Mask can actually maybe come up here and set an ambush. Belpa Hills. Let's not put much money into this yet because there's likely armies over to the east. Let's let's actually check. Not at the moment, but that will change. Let's get you an ambush stance, maybe like right here. Oh, good. Check this out. We can actually 85% chance right here in the open. That's not bad. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this. So this army may see our army down here, decide to march down and run into us. There's a chance there. Okay, I think we're getting here too late though. This is gonna be it's gonna be difficult. Alright, if we look around, let's see what else can we do. Beastman. Ah, oh, we got a point here with Kurgash. We have quite a few lords that are really close to being level twenty. The majority of our lords are like Level 16, 17, 18, it seems. Alright, let's move you... Let's see, we have a scout up here. Let's move you... Let's scout this out. Well, I want to know if there's an army here. Obviously, there's Skaven here. Okay, no army. That's good. That's good. What's your tray? You're extravagant. Wow. Okay, well, you're meant to be in an army then. Eventually. We'll grab that. Okay, and then our scout up here. What should we do with him? Let's move you... Let's go scout the demon stump. What do we got over here? It's actually a, a landmark there. What's this guy do? Oh. Okay. Oh, um, all provinces become able to recruit demon smith sorcerers. That's kind of nice. Winds and magic power reserve capacity plus five faction wide and plus two recruit rank two demons and sorcerers faction wide. That's okay. It's not bad. Not bad. All right, he leveled up as well. Grab another point to hounds. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, so let's finish off some armies here. Let's take out Morlock. Who do we take out first? Morlock's in march stance, so let's attack him. So last episode we had fought this and beat, beat up Tretch and that other army. Let's go ahead and just auto that. Kablam! Not bad. Let's take... Let's take the money. Cool. Oh, a Tormentor Sword. Hey, alright. Yeah. Probably the best gray item in the game. Oh good, we can reach, we can reach Tretch as well. He will probably run. Oh, look at that. He doesn't... Get out of here, Tretch. Not enough of your crap. To last a lifetime. All right, good. And nice, a banner of eternal flame. That'll be useful against fighting undead. Okay, Tritch's defeat rate's actually not too bad. Extra 12% speed. That's that's good on a giant flying monster. 12% is not bad at all. Extra leadership during subterranean battles. That's nice. See, so here's an example. Grigash is level 18. He's getting there. He's getting there. He's got conduits. Okay, let's keep going down his campaign line. Ooh, where do we redline? What's his composition? 
A lot of green skins. Um, some laborers, but it's actually predominantly hobgoblins. Hmm. Do we redline? Or do we get... Uh, there's just such good stuff here down in the campaign line. I'm a sucker for a good campaign line. We played Grombrindle recently in our live streams, and man, his campaign line is so good. Uh, let's grab Cunning. Yeah, you can't go bad at that. Ambush success chance. Yeah, that's good stuff. That's right. Cool. All right, and then we'll just uh, kick it here. I don't think he's in any chance or uh, potential threat of being ambush attacked by Skaven. So, yeah, he should be fine. We'll hit the Sentinels next turn, most likely, with him. Okay, we had some money. Can we invest a little bit? I don't know. We're not making very much, so I feel like we shouldn't invest all that much. Uh, let's build this up, though. Let's build up our garrison here. This is on you know the frontier of our empire. Let's go ahead and spruce that up a little bit. Uh, what about our main capital? We could do the same thing here, but that's 4,000. Yeah, it's a little too steep. You know what we should do? We have a lot of armaments, guys. We need to blow some of these. Let's just go and blow them. Uh, what do we got here? Fireborn. There we go. What do we need here? Renders. Do that. War machines. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Um, blunderbusses. Yep. Fire glaives. Yep. Taurus. Yep. Um, warriors. Infernal guard. What are we at? Okay, we still have actually quite a few left. We're making 480 a turn. Beautiful. Let's do that. Okay, that's probably good for now. Probably good for now. All right. We could upgrade them or augment them, uh, but we'll, we'll look at that later. Right now, I just need the raw numbers of those troops. Because right now, we've been relying upon a lot of crap units, so we need to, we need to change that around. Turn that frown upside down. Could even get rid of, rid of these laborers here. But... Oh, we're on our territory. I could do that. What can we get in one turn? Mm, we can get a bail or a great Taurus in one turn. Uh, would it be bad? And you know what? Let's do that. Let's get rid of one of you guys and grab one of you. Have another flyer. They're they're not bad. You can kind of hang around with uh, Draz within the air and help him out. Everything else takes two turns. I don't want to wait two turns. Yeah, not not yet. It would be nice to get the recruitment of infantry over here. Um, but that's going to have to wait. That's going to have to wait. I also do want to get some more... Uh, could I Fireborn in Drazwis army? Since he does buff them up, and that's kind of what I originally was setting out to do in this, in this whole campaign, was just try out a half stack to a full stack of these suckers and see what they're capable of. Not quite a full stack, but probably like 10 of them. 10 to 12 units in an army. See what, and then, you know, some heroes and whatnot. All right, in terms of tech, let's look around. What's this? For defense buildings? Uh, no, maybe. Control plus one all provinces. We should start on sorcery, but we haven't put any research into it at all so let's just let's do that we need to kind of balance things out here probably we don't i mean needs a strong word but yeah let's let's choose to diversify what about this here oh that's expensive no let's not do that 600 armaments this would increase our capacity wouldn't it for bulls yeah it would you know what let's do it another capacity for a bull Ideally, we should have, like, I'd say one bull in each army. Similar to, like, if you're playing as Beastmen, having uh, a... Not a Doom Bull, but a, a Gorble. Gorble, yes, the hero Gorble in each of your armies. I like having that one or two of them in each army. Uh, a nice boon. A nice, they're a nice tool. Okay, he hasn't moved yet. Oh, yeah, Dipti is over here. I forgot about Dipti. Uh, we could search something. But if we did, it would piss off... Queek, who undoubtedly has these settlements here, here all around this area. Let's let's avoid that then. Um, and he's in a good spot though. Let's just come up here because we are at war with Tretch. Tretch might actually own this. I don't know. Let's go scout out his capital. How many settlements does he have left? Let's let's check. Nine. He's super weak. Look how weak he is. But he does have nine settlements left. That's quite a bit of territory. So, we need to be mindful of that as well. Okay, I think that's it. 
I think that's about it for the turn. Let's uh, let's pass. Let's do this. Turn 64, come and gone. Alright, so... I'm glad we spent all that armaments this last turn. That was good. We've been stockpiling for, I don't know, a dozen turns or more probably without spending them. Uh, and we just, we need to get that capacity up where we, we needed to. So it was good. What do we, what do we got here? Raw materials. So I can't even do that. We don't have 500. So let's just throw more bodies at the problem. What is this going to do? Minus five control all provinces for eight turns. That's terrible. Ah. God, if only we had 500. Oh, there go the Knights of Kalidor. Nimrick's out of here. Ventress did, in fact, reach Bitter Bay. Damn it, I wanted that. I had the special building. Uh, oh, well. Mountain trade, Stromni. Oh, well, look at this. We have an Arachnrock spider in, in our caravan. Not our caravan, but our uh, convoy. An Orc Shaman. Nice, nice. That's pretty damn good. Who's using that item? We need to see Drasowith. We can put it on Drasowith. What was it called? The uh, it was the Orc Shaman, right? He doesn't need it because he's he's not a caster. He's a convoy leader, right? They're essentially overseers, aren't they? Okay, now he's got it. Good. Cooldown reduction to all spells and extra wins per turn. Yeah, that's excellent. It's a very good little item there. Cool. All right, well, I think we should fight these beasts, man. Okay, luckily there's only four minotaurs. I was worried there when I, I couldn't see these dogs. And I was thinking that maybe they're all going to be minotaur units. But they're not. Just doggos. They're raiding. Okay, let's do this. We are true now we can declare war on him and then maybe ask Kugath to join us. So that that would pull in this army here. Let's try it. Right now he's Kugi is not at war with him. Let's verify that. Yeah, they're not at war with each other. So maybe we can get him to join. Let's find out. At the very least, uh, this will give us some money from just the the fight itself. Well, there's a Skaven army here. Decisive? Whoa. Um. Yeah. There's a Doom Bowl. How many stealth units are they going to have? Ungors are. Yeah, they're all stock. So the most of his army is actually going to be stock. He's got that stupid Saigor. Uh, we could probably send the Bowl to go duel the Saigor. Go ahead and fight it. We haven't fought much beastmen so far in this campaign. Not many at all. All right, big open map. Let's just sit back. We have the ranged advantage with the artillery. They do, however, have a Saigor themselves, so they can compete a bit in that realm, the artillery realm. Um, okay. I'm thinking, yeah, probably sending Draz and the Bull over there just to, to smash the Saigor. Or we can just waste the ammo of the Saigor. Maybe we should do that. Maybe we should just waste the ammo of that sucker. They don't have a whole lot of ammo. How many shots does he have? Let's let's check here. He's got 25. 25 of those rocks. That's actually quite a bit. Uh, hmm. I don't like this map all that much. See, up here, there is a left flank for them to maneuver through and potentially get us. I'm thinking just, like, right here. I don't like the trees, really, but... Um, and nor is there really high... Oh, here we go. Here we go. There's some high ground right here. This will do. That's probably enough high ground for our blundies to do some work. But 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 blundies They're gonna get you. Oh, okay. Oh, crap. They're not Vanguard. I was hoping I could just scoot them back. This wouldn't be a bad hill either, but something tells me that's gonna be janky as hell trying to put units on, so let's, let's just not even try that. Let's just stay here. Let's do a range check. Let's see, the Cyborg can throw up to here. Okay. Noted. Let's put the, the, the bull in a, a group. Alright, you guys can be... Oh, you guys can be a group. You guys can be over here. Now, their dogs are probably just as fast as we are. 95 versus 97. Yeah, basically the same speed. So we need to be careful with those doggos. And you guys can be a group. Guard mode. 
So we're going to scoot everybody back. Let's spread these guys out a little bit. Now, our Magma Cannons are 380 range versus... What's the Cygor's range? 400. Oh, okay. The Cygor actually outranges us. Let's waste the ammo of it, then. Let's waste the ammo. Oh, Drask can do that quite nicely at 117 speed. Keep you guys maybe back here on this flank. Are they Vanguard? No. Okay. Very cool unit. Alright, let's space out our... Free labors. I don't like that. Actually, no, 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 I don't like that. I like, I like, I like this more. I like putting the warriors behind the uh, the free interns. Kind of like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got these guys too. You guys will hold the flanks, I suppose. Castellan, you can chill here. Oh yeah, Infernal Fire Glaives. Um, we'll put you guys in the middle-ish. Lathrun. Guard mode, like so. There. All of you in guard mode. And all of you will be in a group. Okay, that should do it. Alright, let's do it. Punch a Chewy. Let's get jump back. That's worth it. All right, let's waste some ammo. Big Tree's gonna actually throw rocks at us. Come on. I'm here, shoot me, shoot me now. Come on. I'm a big juicy bull. Oh yeah, there we go. That was a terrible shot. <laughs> Poor little Cygor, kinda feel bad for him. Their lore is pretty crazy, actually. I think they're just enraged all the time. Just totally psychotic. I mean, that goes for most beastmen, but I think the Cygors are especially pissed off at the world. Come on, keep, keep, ch keep chucking. Keep chucking. What's he doing? There we go. He still missed. Poor guy. Still checking, buddy. Do I even have to move? Let's see. Let's see how long it takes him for him to actually hit me here. Oh no. Cygor. Oh, come on, Cygor. You can do better than that. Hopefully he's not actually hitting my troops. No, okay, he's out of range. That'd be that'd be bad. Oh, okay, he hit. Okay. So he's like one out of four shots actually hits. Oh, look at that. He's two for four. Or two out of five shots, rather. There we go. Two for six. All right, he's down to about a third ammo. We could be blowing up their army right now with bombardments, but it's all right. We'll just, we'll just wait. Or should we? I don't know. Let's wait. Let's wait so I can... Uh, we'll slow down to regular speed to enjoy the uh, pizza sauce. Ow! That was a good shot. I mean, right in the bum. Alright. Four more volleys. Alright, Cygor. Make it count. Okay, that was a nice try. Last shot. Just what you got. Oh, what was that? That was the worst one yet. Saigor. Should we boop him? Um, maybe. I'm surprised they're not shooting at us with uh, what Jim Hughes is. It was worth a shot. Okay. Did a bit of damage. That is a lot of Minotaurs. Now, yeah, if it weren't for the Minotaurs, I would go in and boop the Doom Bull. What are the Doom Bull's stats? Okay, not amazing. Oh, now they're shooting at me. Let's try this. 
It's going to boot. Well, they're scattering. They're scattering. Sitting Duckrin. Okay, I'll take it. That wasn't terrible. It wasn't amazing, but it, you know, did a bit. Well, that would have been a better blob. I feel like wherever I'd cast it, though, if, if the enemies aren't pinned down, the, the, the nimble, quick beastmen will, will juke out of harm's way pretty well. Oh, is, is this guy coming in for it? Is he on a 1v1 tango? Could just blast him with our artillery, too. Let's bring him up away from his army a little further, and then just, just smash him. Alright, it's actually spread out a little bit. Get ready for action here. Blundies. Lothron. Ah, the beast or the uh, the minotaurs are there now. Damn it! Let's try to get rid of these doggos. Doggos. Perhaps a little more. All right, doggos. You need to die. Let's get you guys over here. Shoot up. Good shots. Can we tear out at him? Get off the map now. Get off the map. Get him right off the map. They didn't have to fight him. Just good old fashioned terror out. Alright, Magma Cannon's doing pretty well there. Our labor is ready to rock here. Alright, let's get ready to shut down. Some of their archers. I know they're out there. Oh, I know they're out there. As soon as the archers set up and start firing us, then we're going to start bombarding them again. We have one more left. Alright, let's get on them here. Doogie Tash. Oh, archers. Let's get on them. Seems like a decent bombardment here. Oh, yeah. Oh! Beautiful. Good. Oh, ran into spears. Not good. Focus on the Minotaurs if we can. There we go, good. Oh, the Doom Bull is just getting rocked. Abby Cannons, focus on the Cygore, please. Thank you. Doom Bull just... Oh, man, he got slaughtered. Big, brutal targets like that that take up a lot of volume are just very susceptible targets for the blunderbuss shots, especially at close range like that. A nice blast in there. Move you guys out of the way. Just allow for some shots coming. Get you guys back over here. Here, one of you run down. Him. You run down. Him. Come over here. Let's fight this Saigor. Let's duo him. Use a little help on the left flank. Let's position our guns kind of like this. Obstructed. Yeah, focus like that. Oh. Saigor is getting shot by cannons, right? You guys can get over there. Oh, in the face. Oh, right in the gut. Is he taking damage from the fire? Probably a little bit. Let's just let him get blasted. Blast him in the booty. Oh. 
Oh, he fell over. <laughs> I feel bad for him. Oh, no. He's just trying to get up. Look at this haggard Saigor. Oh, this poor little guy. Keep firing. Don't let him escape. I don't feel that bad. From downtown. Oh, the ankle. Oh, God. I do feel bad. Let's just do a team up now. Here, cannon. Cease fire for a second. Let's just get him with these two. We'll fast forward. That it really matters. Oh, I know it does. It does. The the remnants of this force will be surviving, so we might as well kill off the side where there, get rid of their artillery. Good. There we go. Beautiful. Excellent. Yeah. Look at the the could I fireborn? I I didn't see them in combat all that much. I guess they were on the front line for a bit there and, uh, with that initial charge from the. Uh, the Ungors, that's probably what the, all those kills are. Blunderbuss is, as usual, doing great. 162 kills here, wow. These guys were just running down Ungors. What, 162 kills? I mean, yeah, they were still, they're just Ungors, but still, that's that's pretty significant. Well done. How much total damage was that? Not a ton, but still, that's not bad at all. Not shabby. Pretty impressed. All right, let's grab, let's just grab the money. Yeah, it wasn't too bad in terms of overall damage to our army. Cool. All right, guys, well, I'm going to leave it there for this episode. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have been enjoying the content, as well as comment. Uh, until the next one, guys, take care of yourselves. Happy gaming, and I'll talk to you all soon.